All right, so how's everybody doing today? Uh, we got ourselves uh, a little bit of an SCX-6 uh, adventure today, taking it out for the first rip. Um, as you can see here, I'm going through some little bit deep, uh, deep snow to see what it does. Got a little high center there, but, uh, you know, when in doubt, throttle out. So I just have to make myself a little bit of a runway back here up and forth and eventually get out of this. Uh, this is my first run on this truck. Uh, I'm quite enjoying it so far. It is very large. Um, I spent the day yesterday taking it all apart, checking every screw. Pronto strong, good lord. That is amazing. Very amazing. I'd have to agree with that assessment. Uh, so we're taking it to the local park here. Uh, I got a little bit of a hill to play up. I'm going to rip it along the field here and back up the hill a couple times. Just like give it a test. Uh, this is just before we do the, uh, the sled pull. And that's going to be another video coming up. This uh, built-in thumb steer is uh, pretty nifty. A little bit of an action shot there. And this is back in the backyard. Doing a little bit of uh, rolling around. Seeing what kind of trouble I can get myself into here. Checking out the crawl gear. Uh, I, I really can't wait to get this out on the rocks. Um, that axial transmission click, though, that's going to drive me nuts. Not even alive about that right now, folks. Uh, here's a little test I like doing with uh, all my 10 scale stuff just to see if it'll pull it up. I knew that this would have no issues whatsoever um, just because of the fact that this thing is huge. Um, you really don't uh, quite understand how big a 6 scale um, crawler is until you've got one in front of you. Uh, pictures and videos really don't do this thing much justice to be honest. Um, so a lot of times, uh, I mean, even the TRX-4 will roll into doing something simple like that. This thing obviously had no <laughs> issues with it. The tires taller than this. I can't wait to take this to Stoney. Exactly. This thing will be great at Stoney. As soon as those batteries are it's gone, I can walk a little bit better. be fun. I think it's going to be neat. I'm excited to make some of these. What I really like about this truck too is the weight. The body allows the suspension to work quite well. Uh, I don't even pull this body off, but it is a brute. Um, old rig, 25 pounds. Assuming the body's about 10 pounds of that. <laughs> just kidding. It just seems excessively huge. Um, but yeah, the sound of the weight of this thing actually crunching snow under the tires is pretty impressive. I'm. Uh, That, that right there. Another little, just kind of slow it down here. Uh, again, this system is really impressive. Um, I, I don't know, I, the only thing I can really compare it to is like a really big Axe 550. Um, it's not quite as smooth as a Fusion. Which is weird because it's got lower KV, but it's it's very fusion-esque, and I really enjoy it. And it's one of the first upgrades I do on all my 10 scale rigs. So the fact that this comes out of the box with a system that is censored and basically, I don't know, acts like a fusion as it is, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed. Very happy with this, guys. So I just came back from the first run of this thing. Um, I really run more just uh, just I cannot go trail walk with it just to test it out it's covered in snow uh i did a very good job see some fun things we do with it uh yeah i like the scale interior fog that's pretty fun um yeah the headlights they did a really good job there's only one thing that really bothers me about the headlights is why is the orange marker light down there kind of feel like it should be there so i think i'm going to look into changing that 
that bothers me a little bit and i'm kind of see you so that can't stay that way um i also have uh mirrors with little marker lights inside on order from the amazons like 20 bucks or something like that for the black fridays so that's coming um got some adapters uh, i've got some uh leads coming balance lead extensions i am going to get a 3d printed uh, battery for the back that will display the voltage because i really don't want to carry this 25 pound behemoth anywhere on the trail if i don't have to do the low battery um, i also grabbed some adapters uh, for my xt60 to ic or ec5 um as backups not for mains but as backups just in case that situation does happen but i think a 9000 mah battery is pretty good i'm going to check the voltages when i get back in the house temperatures stayed amazing um she did get a little abused i'm not gonna lie um did definitely pull my daughter on a sled pretty awesome very impressed with this thing very cool So that was the initial run of the uh, CX-6. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content. And uh, you definitely have the uh, video of the uh, sled pull coming tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye.